first headlines. The President of the Republic meets with the Joint Parliament and she remembers. The President of the Republic receives the US Ambassador to Sana, who conveys a message from the US Security of State. And thousands of the BGC National Coalition Parties, women and the joint meeting parties, supporters take to the streets of the capital Sana and other governor race, uh, practicing freedom of expression. News in details. The President of the Republic, Ali Abdullah Saleh, held a meeting Wednesday with the Shura and Parliament Council members in addition to the Cabinet members. In presence of the Vice President, Abdurrabbo Masur Hadi, Prime Minister, Dr. Ali Mohamed Mujawar, and Head of the Supreme Judiciary Council, Judge Osama Samawi. Addressing the Council President Saleh Tachibon situation in the local arena, as well as the recent ra radio propaganda and violent events in Egypt and previously in Tunisia, he says the leadership is keen to maintain stability in the country. President Saleh noted that the country has witnessed great achievements and both to be protected. The president went on saying Yemen is our homeland and that supreme national interest should always remain on top. Meanwhile, President Saleh called on opposition parties to join hand with the ruling party and develop the democratic practice in the country and that the president electoral program defines the presidency terms as two five-year terms only, ruling out rumors on power inheritance. In the course of his speech, the president underlined four key points. Uh, first, uh, dialogue between the ruling party and opposition should resume. Second, freeze constitutional amendments. Third, open up the electoral register for all eligible voters and no extension or power inheritance. In the meantime, President Saleh uh, declared that additional 500,000 new social insurance cases would be included this year and that uh, a significant number of university graduates to be employed. On the other hand, the president rolled out uh, allegation that donor support have been misused, noting that no money offered to the country and all donations are in the form of infrastructure projects to alleviate poverty and reduce unemployment. The President of the Republic of Abdullah Saleh received Wednesday a telephone conversation from the U.S. President Barack Obama during which the two leaders discussed joint ties and cooperation as well as latest development in Egypt. U.S. President has praised President Saleh's initiative to dialogue with uh, opposition. U.S. President has reconfirmed the United States' support to our country, especially in combating terror. President Saleh has appreciated the U.S. attitude and thanked the U.S. aid in different fields, in particular in combating terrorism. The President of the Republic, Ali Abdullah Saleh, has received Thursday U.S. Ambassador to Sana'a, His Excellency Gerald Faristan, who conveyed a message from the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton touched upon mutual ties and cooperation between Yemen and the United States. U.S. Secretary of State has highly praised President Saleh's positive initiative uh, presented by him to the Joint Parliament and Shura Members meeting. And the United States would support such system for dialogue. She also pointed out to, the, to her visit to Sana'a and fruitful talks with the Yemeni senior officials. She also renewed her country's intention to enhance political economical cooperation and in the field of combating terror, praising Yemen's efforts in this regard. The capital Sana'a and a number of governorates witnessed Thursday a huge demonstra demonstrations, including the BGC supporters, joint meetings, civil society organizations, syndicates, and women. Each uh, demonstration has expressed its attitude in accordance with the democratic uh, approach our country has adopted. 
The BGC National Coalition and Women Demonstration has uh, stressed on Yemen security and stability and to protect democracy and constitutional rights. They also praised President Saleh's initiative for dialogue with the opposition and further to enhance the national unity calling on the joint meeting response. The demonstrators have also demanded a comprehensive reforms and to avoid national principles in addition to rejecting calls of sabotage acts. They also called on the national dialogue succession. Governor of Marib has paid a visit to the Statistics Bureau in the Governorate on an observe on close the bureau activities. Nishwan Zalab brought us the whole story. Governor of Marib Naji bin Ali Zaidi has inspected Wednesday the Statistics Bureau in the Governorate and has been briefed on the industrial survey made by the Bureau from the 5th of November till 26th of December 2010. According to the survey, some 488 industrial sites are totally operating. According to the national standards, 110 temporary closed, while 39 others have transformed into an industrial activities. The governor has emphasized on the necessity of extending the small and micro-industrial sites, aiming at encouraging investment and creating more jobs opportunities. Finally, with a focus across the country during the coming 24 hours to follow. On the news, a recap of the stories once again. The President of the Republic meets with the Joint Parliament and Shura members. The President of the Republic receives the US Ambassador to Sana'a, who conveys a message from the US Secretary of State. And thousands of the BGC National Coalition Parties, women and the joint meeting parties, supporters take to the streets of the capital Sana'a and other governorates practicing freedom of expression. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our tonight's news. Till see you next time, goodbye.